welcome back to part 12 my Ramesses let's play total war pharaoh so picking things up we left them last time we're hunting down a pharaoh to kick things off today facing off against pharaoh amames managed to catch him uh on the outskirts of our borders he's in force march this should be an absolute slam dunk of a battle the order resolve says we're going to take heavy casualties to our chariots uh but obviously we're facing off against the pharaoh so of course we want a nice warm-up smash so uh, quick little look at the map and let's dive on in as always thanks for your comments advice tactics and suggestions are all greatly appreciated do keep them coming as well as those unit name suggestions over on part one of this series i'm hoping in the next episode or two like definitely this week i'll add in your unit name suggestions for timotep's army that we've got right here probably also start considering a third army um at some point uh, in the not too distant future because our resources are looking pretty decent I, I might just kind of see how we fare I think probably if a load of other factions jump on in as pretenders um to the throne then I'll need another army for sure but if not I might just take a few more turns of just building up my resources to invest in my economy a little bit more maybe also look to build up my defenses um we are going to risk waiting see if that sandstorm clears and it does good Quite fancy that attrition. Okay, so we've got a river crossing here. Nice. Yeah, actually, it showed on the battle map preview that we were aligned top and bottom. But yeah, this makes way more sense that we'd be across the, the river crossings. This is cool. Um, yeah, they're not going to come to us though, so we're going to have to push across them. Otherwise, we could cause all sorts of carnage by this river crossing. What I think I'm going to do is have my chariots up here and send them across. And then we'll have the main bulk of my forces here, just in case the enemy is foolish enough to march towards me. Maybe we've stirred the anger of the Pharaoh. We can lure him in. In fact, I'm definitely not going to spread those guys that wide. I'm going to pair up my uh, cane like veterans swords as well, and renowned swords with the uh, veteran spears. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, those guys go there and that basically we've got the whole river controlled and we've got these guys as additional support getting back we could definitely i mean if we do decide to stick with two armies i definitely want to upgrade like these units in timotep's army make them all kind of more mid to top tier troops because obviously we cut down on those so that we could afford this in the first place um because it was bleeding us a little i'm gonna have two separate groups of arches actually so i've got a little bit more flexibility maneuvering them around probably don't need to play things that carefully also i'm going to toggle off guard mode uh, i might even go into the settings actually and uh, take default guard mode off because they just seem to form a bit better with it with it off what are they doing spreading out just to hold the high ground yes yeah, so, i mean i'll move up here i'll move into the trees maneuver up around their flank here and then come in from behind i think so if that's what they're gonna do we will move over there and some grass popping in just like that bring the chariots up over here go 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 guys there he is First battle against kind of another playable faction, I think. Okay, we're getting harassed here. Thankfully, that armor is pretty decent. Are they going after my chariots? Uh, of course they are, because we're slowed down here. Oh, that is. Oh, look at that. If we get them up behind here, swinging on down across the sand dunes, that'd be phenomenal. Yeah, that slowed them down going through the tall grass. Okay, they are shuffling around here that is fine what i really want to do with you guys is pull you all the way up here okay i can't go quite as far back as i'd like because that's where the map ends but that's fine bring the chariots up over here go 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 because you're yeah, already forcing them out of their formation pulling them around because we're pulling our troops down in fact what i'm gonna do here i'm assuming we're all hidden i'm gonna leave you guys hidden in the trees And then 
time yet just maneuver you guys around like so then if they do decide to push forward to us we draw them in they push here and then these guys flank and cat and catch them unawares i need these guys so they'll be fairly fresh which they are thankfully although they're going right up that that sand dune right now it's pretty steep they can manage it though yeah get right to the top We're just out of range of those archers I think they've also got some slingers mixed in there as well. As we shuffle across, they're going to get the range advantage. But that's fine because we can always harass their flank with the chariots charging on in. See if we can get Timotep to go in against a mess as well. Oh, the slingers are all the way down there. What are they doing down there? I mean, we've got to do it, haven't we? Put some pressure on their flanks while we're falling up because these guys are probably going to be... Yeah, they're winded. Well, that's interesting. You actually can see at a glance their fatigue state now at the bottom. That's already wheeling back. Just looking at where they bring up the spears, otherwise I'm very tempted to just go into that main body of them there. Give the attack order there. They're facing the wrong way. This probably could be a bit disastrous for trying to pull these guys out. We didn't get the best charge there. And they're now fairly stuck in. So we need to get them out quickly. And they're managing to disengage fairly well. Oh, I'd have loved to have seen that charge, but we were busy because that absolutely smashed them. Of but that going. has given me time to form up the rest of my force. You're winded. We are unstoppable. So you're heavy, heavy infantry, so you're quite slow, but we've now got the advantage of the terrain. We've managed to outflank them. Not actually lost anybody yet, which I'm quite surprised considering our chariot charge there. I just fast forward it a little bit. I'm hitting these guys, but it's thankfully just chipping away at their armor. Let's get in range ourselves. So press. Well, I'll just can fire anyway, but let's just get a little bit closer. I think in the meantime, we are going to go and strike them from the flank here. Oh, my sword's feeling. I think they're still fresh, yeah. They're not as tired. Seeing some openings here. I'm just looking to see where they're sending all their infantry. These guys are the distraction that I'm sending in right now. We will not falter. Wipe them out. Meet your death. Send in the spears. Bring Timothet forward, but I ideally want to get him into get facing Ammes directly. Here we go, chariots. Nice, just slammed into them and broken them. Into position. Onward. They will please. God, no, please. Got that. Chariots. Keep going here. After me, brothers. I am not dying today. There's the Pharaoh. We stand strong. We will not falter. Move out. Come on, Tim. Meet 
you're dead! Advancing! It's down here, so if we want to... We we'll go battle with him. We want to get Tim around here, ready to strike. I imagine he's going to break, though. Yeah, he has. Coward. Run him down with chariots, then. No escape for him. There he is, fleeing. Pharaoh that ran. Fight for your brothers. See if we can munch him down with some chariots. Yeah, mum. Boom. No, he's still up. Get him again. Oh, there we go. Got speared. I'm just going to pretend I'm a chariot now. This is tactic. He's like one of the few units left, so we're just going to try and mob him, which probably isn't that easy for chariots to do. Just two units left. Yeah, one of them's running that way. And mess is surrounded there. Sons of Egypt, we will ride them down. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. Oh, you can actually see their um, footprints. That's a nice little feature. That's a graphical thing. And he's down. There we go. And you can see the, uh, the kind of the, the wheel marks from the chariots there as well. That That's nice. There we go. Smooshed. We lost 137. His army is annihilated. It's what you get when you wander up the Nile. Or wander down the Nile, I should say. Oh, right through the neck. But somehow he will recover. He's Egypt just sleeping. Will remember this victory. Um, yeah, I mean, the replenishment we're fine. We're in our own territory. We'll take some more food, thanks. Lovely Customer. stuff. All right. I just missed it at 77. He's at 98. It all just depends. I mean, if Talcerite goes in, well, like one or two of you were saying you thought maybe I'd gone into the Civil War a little bit too soon. I mean, maybe, but we're kind of, we're giving it a go. We're seeing, we're seeing how things play out. Um, obviously, if an, anyone else joins in, it will increase the length of the Civil War, so we'll have more time to kind of conquer. Um, what I'm thinking is that we, if we, if, it all kind of depends on what Seti does, because if Seti joins in, then we'll be fighting him and we'll be primarily gaining our legitimacy by conquering his territory rather than Ammes. I'm a little bit wary of just sailing on down. I kind of need to see what happens over the next few turns. But if not, we're going to go for uh, Akhetatan uh, down here. But we kind of need Seti to join in so we can actually progress with um, our Tutmos the Conqueror. I really, as one of the two of you said, you should probably use it as a way of uh, kind of choosing the the target at the end of your current conquest rather than using it as the launching off point for your conquest because often by the time you get there it, it's been raised or you know changed hands or something like that um which is a shame uh, what can we get in here we need workforce yes we can't do anything there right now uh Ramesses, you've got another turn to get the bits there because it's all still looking at cadmium and victory yeah plus it could get even worse for us oh, that's a cool looking map though uh, it could get even worse for us with the siege around. if Pyramus can sail back on him, which I assume he can because he sailed out. Um, but yeah, I'm wary of sending Timotep down on his own to strike and mess if Seti was to, and, and Talsret were then to join on him because he'll be surrounded by them down here. Talsret's there. Seti's here. If, um, if they don't, then yeah, we'll sail on down um, and we'll attack his settlements and just do some damage there. That'll be fine. 
Um, we might then with Ramesses actually go and attack I'm these guys up here, attack Vuto, and grab all of that territory because that will give us some some stuff, which is why I'm not going for any agreements with them just yet. Um, yeah, I, I think we can beat the legitimacy of Ammes, the current Pharaoh. If Talswet jumps in, though, I think it'll be quite a struggle. Like Seti, I have to see. Uh, one of you as well want to see. Take them down. Ramesses wearing the other hat. There we go. What do you look like? I mean, that's pretty cool. That is production, but reduces replenishment. So this one is way better for us. Uh, recruitment slots plus one this province. All resides plus 20 percent this army. Grants ability Pharaoh's presence. Um, reload inspired by Pharaoh. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Uh, replenishment plus 10% faction wide. That's huge. Productional resources faction wide. Okay, minus 5%. Didn't kind of clock that as being faction wide. But thankfully, we're doing okay. Everything in the resources is in the green. I mean, have we got anything coming in from diplomacy? We've got 600 stone coming in through diplomacy right now. Um, 500 food coming in through diplomacy, but both of those would still not take us out of positive income. Um, nothing there on coming in for wood. Bronze, no, it's all building. Gold, it's all mines. Yeah, we're, we're looking pretty healthy there, which is good. Cool action. What was I doing here? I I'm embezzling. We're at 99%, so I can't do anything evil. more there. So what are we doing? Um... Connections. That's SETI. Yeah, I mean, having having more, having that ready to go to suddenly fire off three court actions is probably pretty decent. I'm surprised I'm not ousted from the court or like you can't make actions while you're in a civil war, while you're an active pretender. Unless it's threatening. Seti. Oh, it'll remove him from the position of Vizier. Um, I, yeah, can I, I can discourage. Yeah, I actually don't want that to happen because I, well, I was going to build him up. Uh, but let, let's weaken, on failure, lose three legitimacy. Yeah, let, let's lower the chance of that going through. Uh, and we use both my actions, in fact. Oh, is it just, it's just failed now. I've just completely knocked it out. Ah, cool. I like that, and that should because it's now failed. He shouldn't be able to fire it off again. Not great available. Ascalon, uh, that is a cult center as well. So if I upgrade that to tier uh, four, then that will actually count here. When it from eight cult centers, whose governor's building is of level four. Yes, yeah, so that will give us a little bit more there. So let's get that in. Let's help out there. Construction. What are we doing? We've already got that in that one uh we want to go for the additional stone for that we need work for so i don't think we're shy or obelisk actually um what am i but what am i putting here i'm putting happiness all oh, right yeah actually there's one or two of you did say lionheart you might want to check your happiness because you've got quite a few places where your happiness isn't looking so hot uh and once of you're wondering like what happens if your happiness gets to minus 100 i'm assuming it's just like every other total war game where you, we will then face um rebellions that, that's that's what i'm assuming uh the wine market that is Ooh, really nice. Yeah, how is our influence here doing? It's good. It's still growing. Um, so can I go up here and can I see happiness? I was kind of hoping I could actually just from a snapshot see. Okay, it's not happy over here. Minus one. That's at a hundred. They're all really happy. Yeah, someone was saying I had one that was like nearly minus 100, but I think, is it maybe just the one I've just taken? No? Maybe, maybe this one, minus 76, but we're in the process of conquering it to, to claim it all. So that is going to be fine. So I assume it's why we're building that happiness building, to be fair. Um, I mean, we don't have, I do obviously want to get the obelisk for more legitimacy, but the Stonecarver's district is definitely going in there. Uh, we'll get rid of the happiness building when we no longer need it anymore. Uh, here, we want to get the uh, Shadu Farm and the Smuggler's Market for sure. Uh, just loads more food income. But yeah, things are looking really solid actually there. But yeah, I can't see anywhere. If there's a specific region you guys can spot, then let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, it all looks okay. What's our ambition again? 
Claim the capital. Oh yeah, we're, we're going for this one, aren't we? So that, that's happy days. Is that solved? Uh, Mr. Conqueror. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'll still advance you along with speed and fatigue build up. Employ local healers. Yeah, I want to go for maximum happiness. For Pharaoh's glory. We could consider some royal units in here or even for Witness Ramesses. Um, we, need to, we need to get some more, more troops into Ramesses, more elite troops into Ramesses armies because we're still at like his early tier of Medjai, which aren't bad, but you know, we should probably start looking at some some other ones to go in here. Uh, Renake, Knight Swordsman. I mean, what, what have I got option-wise? Like Royal Kopesh Guards. I feel like they should go in with Ramesses. Um, yeah, I mean, we get rid of these guys. Maybe the, the Sheridan as well. We get another, we could get another Royal Chariot Companions in here as well. thinking and we could we could chuck in some we could chuck in the medjai actually in place of these couldn't we got local lower egyptian we could get some of these guys in as well i think for the siege with ramesses let's, let's get rid of one of you and yeah i might keep you guys so what i'll do is i'll sort them over into the new army that i will recruit once we take pyramuses uh so for now we'll leave all that that's fine. We'll just throw in the royal Kopesh guard as a nod to the fact that he's now his royal Pharaoh's bodyguard. Um, and then in here, what I'm going to do is get rid of those two and I'm going to pop those two in. Prove your strength in battle. Nice. Oh, it was an archer unit in there as well, actually. Didn't kind of realize that. That's fine. That's fine. Still make use of that. Cool. Right. Let's end the turn. Don't need to worry about going off and trading with anybody because, oh, uh, is he a pretender now? Because he's got the pretender hat on. But did he have that before from the last time? Did he get to, does he get to keep it? I don't know. Ooh, it's all kicking off down here. Who didn't invite me to the party? Guys, I'm cool, I swear. Come on. Oh, just had a big old smash though, didn't you? Are you going to move across and take that one? Probably. We haven't gone... I can't see it going red, but... I guess we'll see. Yeah, because it should be like Pyramuses, right? So you've gone across here where you've hit my stuff. Cool. Yeah, you do that. Meanwhile, I'll take your capital. Yeah, those are the sea peoples coming in. A new, oh no, here we go. New pretender. Talsara and <laughs> Here we go. War of the uh well, I guess technically like four pharaohs. Yeah. I will be surprised if anybody else decides to jump on in. Right. I mean worst case is we don't become Pharaoh this time around. Um Oh no, what a shame. Uh, but we'll hopefully be able to gain a fair bit of territory now. So we are now at war. Oh, we're not at war with Seti actually directly, are we? Ah, uh, that's why. Right, but obviously it's going to be beneficial to go to war with him because... We can then weaken his claim. Although who the one we really need to weaken is Tausarep. Over here can't really get over to any of her stuff just yet. Uh, also, one of you were mentioning gods. Um, have I actually discovered any other Egyptian gods? I've, uh, I've unlocked Toth, so we can get him in. That's not that's not terrible. Horus was uh, looking nice. Uh, you guys also um, mentioned that the, the shrine is minus 40% to enemy movement, but the devoted general is plus 25% movement restored after battle. So you do still actually get some additional movement range with Horus, you just only with your devoted general and only after, um, after a battle. Um, one of you as well saying, does Ra actually, is Ra actually that useful right now? Not probably for his shrines actually as much. 
Um, that's construction cost and construction time. Yeah, Toth is really useful, actually, for just economy building. So we'll probably just go for him until we unlock some of the others. And you unlock them uh, by capturing settlements in unexplored realms or gaining new allies from distant lands to, uh, uh, you know, that uh, align themselves or follow those gods specifically. Down. So we'll leave you. We'll take Pyramuses. We'll fight that in a minute. Um... I guess, yeah, we, we really, we do need to go to war with, with Seti. Uh, what I'm thinking is Seti, Seti, Seti. For Who are you at war with? Can I go to one of these other factions? Rightful heir of Egypt. Ready to spill blood. And join the war against him without bringing in Talsarek, because otherwise I've got all their forces to fight. But I'm thinking if we do focus on Seti, we're we just diving through his territory up here and around Menefer as well and controlling these territory. I mean, we yeah, probably be pushing as far south as sort of this line here. And leave them to fight over uh, Ammon Mess. But that's kind of my hope. But we also could find ourselves suddenly getting dominated by large armies sailing down the Nile to us. So I will uh, come back to that in a moment. Because um, I mean, we could go straight in and hit um, Menefer. I was wondering, can I, can I sail in and strike it? Or I feel like no, but um, now we don't want to strike it just yet because we want to finish off our most of the Conqueror. So let's definitely get ready for that. Train natives. Let's keep going through. So we've got two three more turns before we can like fight it with the full native reinforcement we'll still want to siege it for eternal two to get some equipment but before that Witness let's dive on in and fight this one it is in our favor just it is now a close victory and my chariots are suffering okay right well let's go on in and fight it see I how we do everyone what I am capable of. here we go Yeah, so begins the War of the Four Pharaohs. Sweltering. Now we'll give that a wait. Obviously, it could bring something. Ah, ha, ha. Sweltering now into a sandstorm. Great. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, yeah, they're going for that gatehouse there. There's the one tower. What have we got? I've got the uh, canal running through. waterways architecture of ancient Egypt has always fascinated me I don't know about you guys but always thought it looked so spectacular kind of the, the intricacies of their art and the styling the design. Beautiful seeing it come to life in game. Now let's uh, try not to burn it all to the ground. Um, yeah, I think we'll consolidate our forces. We, we I, th I don't think there's much point us splitting up. I think we benefit from... keeping our troops together that said i will have these guys separate here ready to sneak on in and try and hit that gate and then let my chariots through but for the rest here yeah, you're all on here um yeah i am you know what i am fine for that although i'm gonna tell you guys to drop the ram and instead put the renowned came like swordsman because they are just a little bit more heavily armored so you can go straight there and we'll take the Siege towers, put them on the right, going for that bit of wall. And then we will take you two and go up here. The gods will carry us I forget Ramesses victory. is still archer, actually. I might make him a melee unit now. Oh, look at that. Yes. Good pharaoh hat. I'll keep you with your with your royal kopesh guard. Follow in with these guys. I 
Ray Rock throws the sun away. Storm the gates. To battle. Okay. Strike through. Have they placed anyone up over here? They have. So we can't really go in there. Tell you what, CA Sophia, you know how to make a beautiful looking game. Hopefully this won't be a uh, similar performance to the last siege we had with uh, Ramesses where it came right down to the end and Ramesses was wounded in the in the effort. Come on. Take the bait, guys. Probably can't see those guys from the wall. I mean, maybe you can. I think you'd be hidden. Because you're down the slope, so they can't see you. I mean, they may pull away. If not, we'll just keep them out of it. Get going, guys. Okay, armor's taking a beating there. First lads, the walls. Move the rest of them in. Especially the arch so they can start doing some damage. How are we doing here? Yeah, we're doing okay. This tower's here. It should get them there. We should probably keep most of their troops busy up on the walls, I'd have thought, with this. What I'm hoping is we can really smash through the center. I am going to ram on in with Ramesses. Archers are now firing. Uh, we'll switch goes to flaming shot. Just see if we can do some morale damage to them. Plus, looks cool. I end up setting some of the uh, trees and vegetation on fire as well. Go on, Ramesses. With me. When in point blank, start shooting him. This goes up the wall. They're still holding over there. Prodigy of war. No warrior can best. You fire straight on in. Weaken him a bit. Charge on in. How are we doing with the rest of our troops? Making some headway. Use the ladders. Going, keep going. Oh, yeah, we have started setting some of it on fire behind. The archers. Oh, what a shot. Holly. Yeah. Just harass them around. Fighting me will only end one way. Arrows away. 
sending more of their troops down. Bring out the slingers. Finally getting stuck in now. Move on in with Ramesses now. He's out of ammo. Send you boys in. Yeah. intensifying as it spreads. I haven't done enough to do any substantial damage yet to the city to cause uh, start causing trouble there. More of them up on the wall. Them. Holding them fairly well. Swordsmen. Got them there nicely. Broken through the general with these guys pulling back yet. Uh, they're still up on the wall. Our aim is true. Attack the gates. We are unstoppable. Sandstorm coming in. Yeah, it's starting to. So I wanted to try and win this before the sandstorm appeared. Ramses. Sandstorm's coming on in. Get moving. Let's press the attack and win this. Before we face the full fury of the sandstorm. Most of them are breaking to that last one there. Hopefully they'll go shortly. A little bit more pressure on them, and we'll be able to claim our victory. Keep pushing through, boys. Still holding their morale up here. Sons of Egypt. That sandstorm really rolling in now. Barely see out here. Push the archers through. Such a large settlement that even though the kind of initial fire damage around here is actually not done even a single percent of damage to the settlement, which I guess is fine. Hopefully that means kind of like less... Uh, less stuff to rebuild. Less cost to us. Um, they're all victory points, aren't they? Send you guys into the nearest one. And in fact, I'm going to send the... Horse Archer. The horse Archer? The Chariot Archer unit that way. I'll send those guys to split them up to try and hit those uh, no Egyptian Axemen. Looks like they've come off the wall here, which is good. At the gatehouse. Might as well push him from there. Everybody get on in. Just keep going. The chariots here probably struggling to get in, I would have thought, around the gateway. Uh, Part of finding isn't the best, but trying to send three units in. It's going to struggle. One of them's made it through. Okay. Send you guys into position. Uh, 
pull it back. We want a, we want a flanking opportunity. Yeah, I'm on chariots. It's all these guys getting punched up by the gate as well. Hoping to pin them with the shield wall formation, but well, that's okay. Have you guys there. Give you an advanced stance. Push on through. Flank with these guys. I reckon when that one goes, yeah, that one's going to go. and That's going to be victory. Boom. Job done. 274 lost. Not bad at all. Getting better at our sieges. I mean, they had far less than sieges that we fought in the past. Oh, nice finish, Ramesses. We are warriors without peer. Food is flowing into the kingdom, my lord. <laughs> Wonderful. So we like to see and occupy. Dang. Oh! Sacred land occupied. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. Boom. Get our ambition fulfilled. Lovely. We've got a small altar. Okay. Um, train natives. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's part of the most conqueror. Lovely. What have we got here? Um, so it's cult center as well. So yeah, we want to... Is it cult center? No, it's not. It's just sacred land. Sorry. I was just thinking, oh, yeah, it means we can we can improve this. But no. It's not one of those. That'll be men of fur that we're going for. And then um, Kimenu. And further down the Nile. But yeah, I feel like we could probably upgrade that. Extra happiness. Lumber depot. Any other bits and pieces in here? Do, 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 do. What have we got resources? Why irrigated farmland, expanded and reclaimed. Oh, lovely along the banks of the Nile. And we've got a fishing port. Buildings output is affected by the flood season. I kept. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, because all along the banks of the Nile. That's really nice. So yeah, lots lots of food production from here. War council. Construction cost for military. We've got the native recruitment up here, which means we can go for lower Egyptian chariots alongside light chariots, armored. So, okay, you know, you know what? That'd be fine because we could probably recruit some units from here. We've already got that one. We've got the lumber depot. We've got tax collector. That's fine. Upgrade it. Yep, I agree. And... Yeah, go for that. But again, we need more, more workforce, uh, which upgrading that will help with. So that's fine. We can issue a commandment here. Workforce growth at the cost of food. You know what? For the people, that's what I'm going to go for. Going to go for it. We've obviously got the additional production from our influence being nice and high here as well. So that is all good too. Destiny yeah, I am going to start recruiting another I'm army. To I'm going to do it. Um, who's got what? Oh, yeah, yeah. You've got six. Fortitude. Headnest. Wow. Uh, yeah. Go for it. I think, didn't I have you out before? You were the other general I had that one time. You replaced wow, Ramesses. You looked idiot. after it. We're only at level three. I was thinking that was reading wrong. You've already got some items, though. Plus three. Just one of was it showing up as plus six or was I just reading that wrong? Oh. Right. So Wait, you yes, can get a load fight. of yeah, lower Egyptian unit, swordsman, consul. I mean they're not particular they're not amazing. Um Chariots though, not terrible like medium chariots here. We get lower Egyptian archers, armored lower Egyptian archers. I am happy getting them. Uh, lower Egyptian veteran source. There we go. And uh, yeah, we'll just go for an army of, of these. It's, it's a fair amount of bronze required. That is actually the one thing that we are negative with. But that is we are, I'm assuming that's part of our deal for so much stone. Where is more bronze? All food down the Nile. Of course it is. Uh, there's bronze over here. 
yeah limited uh at some point this out in my um hittite campaign but all of cyprus is just bronze so wouldn't say no at some point to just sending off a expeditionary force over here to go and grab all of cyprus because um yeah give me that bronze where is where's my bronze? my bronze is over here can i improve yeah that one actually can be upgraded to produce more bronze i'm gonna pop it in is that my only bronze production no, Timna, I knew we had one more. You have one more. Um, we should probably consider going for that one there as well. What have we got to get rid of? We've got to get rid of this one for influence, but right now... Oh, no, our influence is, is good. 88. All right, if I got rid of it, though... That's going to give us more legitimacy next turn. I mean, if we upgrade that again, then we can replace it in there. We've got the obelisk coming. Oh, that's going to give us influence in three turns. Okay, yeah, that's fine then. Get rid of this. Upgrade that for more bronze income. And then we'll get the other building as well. Perfect. Every Happy days. Right, for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Uh, I really... Well, I mean, we're not ready for Gover Men of Fur just yet. I mean, Ramus probably can Greatness go for that. Awaits. In the name of Maybe I should recruit, build the Medjai office here, actually. As well, next so I can get my elite Medjai out here. I mean, yeah, wouldn't be terrible. I would be tempted to kind of get rid of this. Construction cost for military does reduce it, but do I really... I mean, while I'm building it, I guess, and then get rid of that. Can go in there. We just need more workforce. And we need some more stone, but we're going to have enough of that soon. It's just what to do with you. Do we rush down here? Um... And go for that and then be surrounded inevitably when we go to war with Seti uh Talswet. I think that's probably a bad idea. Um But we could go across and start raiding, right? Your effect bundle's gonna end soon. Um you're getting that in there. What have we got over here? You've already got the outpost and you've got that's also what's gained us more legitimacy as well. For Egypt. Time to cut I'm not gonna get any of those. That is a increased ambush. No, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go across, Duty calls. and I'm going to raid them. Loot and pillage. <sighs> yeah, and then let's just see where we're at. With the voice of the gods. Oh, so I actually, by stopping that one, I gained regard with him. Which means I can't grab it because I've already used it this year. So, yeah, I need to wait uh, things out. Um, access to Kushite units anywhere. Kushite mercenaries. So, that's Reap. Instantly gives me two hunt. Yeah, I mean, that wouldn't be terrible to have if I had, like, a spare gossip built up in there. Why not? That's what I'm targeting, isn't it? To embezzle. So, yeah, let's just keep doing it. Do that for now. And end the turn. Hi, Pyramuses. So at least I don't have to, like, chase you down. I can just jump on out. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I didn't recruit anything, did I? Wally. It's Shemsu Hall. Wonderful. Where'd my other army go? Oh, he's right here. Why don't you attack him? Because probably a terrible idea for you to attack him. Because it would just pull the whole force out. Right, yeah. Well, I, let's just... Um, he's going to run. No, he's not. He's going to stand and fight. Going to see them off. Is it going to hurt you? It's not. Um, this like, looks way stronger than I would kind of expect it to be. Yeah, I need to build you up. I forgot to do that. My bad. Um, we've still got all these guys. They, they keep... Oh, every Shemzi Whore, I'm assuming. They keep regenerating. So we're going to add some more Royal Kopesh here. We're going we're gonna to trade some of these guys out. But the most important thing I want to do is get the Midgei building there. But I don't think I can do I don't think I need three, didn't I? have got another force I here. So, um, Timotep, you're going to march up here and knock this one away. Deal with that. We still haven't been declared war on, have we? Bye. Seti. The wrath of Egypt. How are things? They, they are trending down. Wisdom House right is number one. 
yeah, I do not want to go to war with you. But obviously, you are military allies with SETI, so I need to find a way in here. Mightiest of princes. Proud son of Egypt. I'm at war with you guys. Why am I at war with you? I have a feeling we will both write our names into history. I could peace out with you. Um, then you'll still be always set it. So I could peace out with you. Hopefully get some resources too. And then offer to join the war against Seti through him. That's what I'm thinking then. Let me know your thoughts because then, well, we'll, bou we'll bounce up to knock you guys away. Well, actually, no, we won't. We won't bounce up there. We'll send you straight on over to harass and take this settlement. We've got conquering wise, like one more turn. Yeah, because it'll be we'll fire this one in right now, and then next time we'll do that one. That'll take us over, so we're ready to go. Uh, and then we strike Menefer, grab that. That should give us more legitimacy. It's nineteen turns though, isn't it? Um, oh, it's now the War of the Five Pharaohs because Wasset's Ramses. come on in. Ramses. Sure was fated by the gods. Why is everyone hating these guys? Zwati? I don't I don't understand it, but like, I mean that's probably not gonna help me out by piecing out with them. Maybe I need to is there anyone else. Of Egypt. I don't think so. Fury of the desert. Yeah. But I think I probably will do it just so that I can hope hopefully Talsrite doesn't get drawn. I mean I don't know how competent the AI is. Um maybe it's improved and that if Seti gets attacked and Talsrite isn't brought in, he'll just ask her to join anyway. Um so that'll be fun. I'm well above Seti right now, but it's Talsara I've got to catch up with. But the easiest way to uh, beat Talsara is just to gobble up Seti. Because take a few of his regions, the cult centers, Menefer, they'll give me what I need um, with the, the extra legitimacy. Um, we've already got Tutmos ready to go on Menefer, so we might as well make use of it. So I think that's what we'll do next time. Uh, until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and all that goodness. We'll maybe fight this one at the start of the next episode. Until then, take care, and ciao for now.